Hi, and welcome to the bench. Well, today we're going to tie you up a real nice little pattern. It's called the Italian Spider Fly. You know, the Italians did really well with this fly at the World Championships down in Jackson Hole, and they were kind enough to show everybody the fly later on. So we thought we'd tie it on the bench for you because it is such a hot little fly. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. To tie the spider fly up, we're going to use a size 10 TMC 205BL 5X wide hook. We're going to use some ADOP black thread. For the butt, we'll use some bright orange thread. We'll use a light done hackle to hackle the body. For the body, we'll use some pheasant tail. And for the wing, we'll use a few strands of crystal flash along with some light elk hair. To start the fly off, I've wrapped all my black thread right onto the hook. I like a nice base of black thread on my hook. I've got some of the bright orange thread, and I'm going to wrap it back to form a nice little red butt section right at the back of the fly. In this butt section, you probably want it to be about an eighth of an inch long, and keep it fairly thick. Now that I have my red butt tied in and my thread back on, my black thread, I'm going to take one of my, my done hackles, and I'm going to tie it in by the tip, right at the very base, just above that nice orange butt that we tied in. I've taken about eight strands of my pheasant tail, and I'm going to tie these in by the tip, just above where we put in the butt section. Tie them down real nice, and just wrap forward to form a body. Now you'll notice that the pheasant tail only makes it about halfway up on the fly, which is fine. We're going to do the same thing for the upper part of the fly, after we finish the bottom half of the fly. Now that I've wrapped the pheasant tail up about halfway up my hook, I'm going to take the hackle that we've had back there, and we're slowly going to palmer it up, and keep this hackle nice and full. Don't have too much spacing between the hackle. Try to utilize the whole hackle for the stretch halfway up to the hook. Now we're just going to repeat the last two steps. We're going to take another hackle, and tie it in right at the halfway point where the last section ended. For the top half of the body now, I've taken about 10 strands of my pheasant tail. And again, I'm just going to tie them in by the tips. Make sure they're tied down nice and even. And we'll wrap this pheasant tail up to form the nice body on the top end of the fly. And wrap it right towards the eyelet, right up to the eyelet. The front end of the body is now tied in. I'm going to take my, my done hackle that I've had sitting there in the middle of the fly, and I'm slowly going to palmer that up towards the eyelet. Again, keep the hackle nice and full. For the wing now, I'm going to use some crystal flash to put on the under wing. This crystal flash, we want it about almost the length of the hook. Make sure that crystal flash comes right almost to the butt end of the hook, and we'll tie it in. For the last stage in the fly, I've taken some stacked light elk hair, and we're just going to put this over the wing and try to match it up to the length of the sparkle flash underwing we've just put in, and then tie it in. Take a couple of loose turns and then tie it a little tighter. All this extra material at the front, gather up once you've tied it in, and just snip it off to form a nice little head right at the front of the hook. Well, there it is, the Italian spider fly. Fairly simple pattern to tie, and uh, it's fairly new. A lot of people have seen it in magazines, and I was fortunate enough that my brother brought me one back from the World Championships in Jackson Hole. One thing we did find out about this fly is it's absolutely a marvelous cutthroat pattern.